Hello, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson. Having just finished his debut album using futuristic sounds like spaceship landings and drums that sound like they're from a robot's mouth, 29-year-old Will Snyder joins today's show to share the excitement about his latest project and his first LP release titled 2028. Well, welcome to the show. Oh, thanks so much for having so me. So excited for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So what you learned from this process? Well, I learned a lot of things from this process. Um, but I think I'd have to say, most importantly, um, when I first started this record, um, I was signed with a record label. And so I had people telling me kind of what to do the whole time. I always had someone to look up to or someone to ask. But uh, when that kind of dissolved, I, um, I had to kind of figure it out on my own. So I, I think what I learned most importantly was how to dig inside myself and um, feel, feel out what I want, what I want as an artist. I didn't have to look up to anybody anymore or ask their help. I, I really needed to get it done myself. Right, um, and you did it your way. Yeah, that's right, that's right. And I finally ended up doing it my way. So that's great. So yeah. um, how long did the whole process take from when, I guess, when you just kind of started and then to the point where it's going to be released? Sure, sure. Um, yeah, it, uh, it took me about five years. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That, that's rather long. It is a long time. Yeah. And um, I'll tell you why it took so long. Um, uh, first of all, I didn't really know what I was doing okay. uh, when I first started. You sure. know, I was young and you know, yeah. I just got caught up. I, well, I did you're still young. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, <laughs> ish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, um, I did a demo and you know, the record label really liked it and they signed me up, so I didn't really know what I was doing. So most of, the t most of that time was me figuring out how to make a record. Mm -hmm. I made it about four times, really. I made the wow. whole thing. And um, you know, the songwriting was really important too. I really wanted to get the songs down. That took a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I ended up, you know, hiring my friends and stuff and getting like my friend Angie Aparo. Yes. Great songwriter. He Wonderful helped me with songwriter. absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, he helped me with half the record basically. Wow. Um, that, that part took a long time getting the songs, weeding out bad songs and getting the songs right. Uh, secondly, I really wanted, because I've always been kind of a producer, I produced uh -huh. a record a couple years ago with my friend, a jazz record that was number one for two weeks. Wow. And um, so I wanted that to be, I wanted the production to be good too. Yeah. So that took a while, because um, you know, that's another side of me, I guess, but I wanted yeah. that to be, that took a long time. Right. Um, and um, thirdly, it, it was, um, I really wanted to get a concept down, and that's where 2028 came up. Uh, you know, getting the record to sound like it's was more kind of More futuristic, beamed. Yeah, right? exactly, like beam like from the beam future. Like beam home. <laughs> exactly, beam me home, Scotty. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah that's, yeah, that's cool. So though. that whole thing, you know, that takes yeah. a long time to figure out. You know, when you're young and don't know, it just took me a long yeah. time. And it would take anybody a long yeah. time. I mean, and, and it sounds like you have a little bit of uh, perfectionism that I you do. wanted it to be do, yeah. just perfect that's before right. it came out. That's right. Nothing that's wrong right. with that. Nothing yeah, wrong with right. that. So, what drove you to make a record in the first place? Funny enough, mm -hmm. actually. Um, Breaking up with a girl, <laughs> classic. <right>? Uh, <laughs> Sad to say, it seems to be. <laughs> yeah, 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 classic tale. Um, I'm no different. <laughs> it's all right. So, that's all right. You can fit into that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so where'd you record it at? I recorded it at. Um, well, since it was, so, it took so long. You know, uh, it started off in uh, Boston, mm -hmm. New York City, at okay. Avatar Studios, um, to uh, down here in my room. Uh, <laughs> yeah, to um, to uh, my friend John Cranford's studio. Sure. I would do some of the stuff there. Um, uh, the the label I was signed to also had a studio in Orlando, so I was constantly going to Orlando recording. It's just all over the place, all, all over, over the, the country, place. really. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty exciting, it's though. Cool, so, yeah. how did the CD release party go? It was great. Um, T tell us a little bit about it. Where sure. It was yeah, that was at uh, this place, the Lucky Rooster, and um, That's it's right a on great, the great restaurant. Yes. Amazing. And yes. uh, we ended up closing down the restaurant for the show, wow. which was really cool. We turned it into like a music venue, and that we got lights, and we got this big PA, and we got my friend John to play after us, John Cranford, yeah. obviously, yeah. Um, South Beach Orchestra. That was a, a really good time. I got my friends from New York come down and play. They were also producers on the record. Wow. So, I mean, it was just a blast. A lot of people came out. Uh, we had a great time. There's some footage on uh, Facebook. and yeah. It was a success, I think. Good. It was worth Good. it. Yeah, That's absolutely. great. Yeah, so, what are you seeing as far as the success on the release of the, the LP? Um, well, I don't really know yet. I mean, it just came out last right. week. I think, I think so far, like, uh, it's gonna it's gonna turn out pretty good. I'm getting I'm getting a lot of good feedback. Good feedback. A lot of good feedback. Good. My managers, um, you know, putting it out there. It's gonna be on Pandora. There's um, we got some things coming up. I good. think it's gonna and be good. And I think good. you yeah. can you can actually select it on iTunes as yes, well. Yes, you can. Yeah, and Spotify. Okay. Check it out on Spotify, iTunes. Yep, it's all there. Well, thank you. 
Thank you. Good luck. Thank you so much. Appreciate you coming on. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Thank we you. will be right back with Talk of the Town.